Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial talking about pre-awakening and how to level up. In this video I will be covering tasks, dungeons, good hunting spawns, professions briefly, rifts and some additions. So let's dive right in, how do we pick a task? First you will want to go down to the monsters area spawns right here. Going down into the 8 to 50 spawns is probably the first thing you will want to do as these tasks give you the ability to earn stat points. Once you finish the task given by this NPC, you will earn a stat point. Stat points can be allocated many ways into your stats to strengthen your characters as you wish. So after finishing a few tasks, you will want to gain some experience. We'll go back into the monster area spawns. And in here, you can hold three tasks open from each of these NPCs. Let's pick our first task. Pick new. We'll take giant spiders for the, for the example. And now we will watch the default area to make sure that we kill enough. So after killing one, you see you have killed one out of 40 giant spiders. Now I will speed this part of the video up and I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, now that the task is done, I'm going to turn it back into the Taskmaster. Now, when completing a task for the first time, it will usually reward you with extra experience. Not all tasks do that, but most of them do. Details and complete. As you can see, I got some experience. You could also see it above my head. This is how tasks are done, and we'll move on. Our next thing after us is doing dungeons. Dungeons can be accessed from the top left here in the screen. This is our gray button. You have dungeons for different level ranges. Starting at 150, you can enter your first dungeon, Thurin's Tom, and then it keeps progressing. For this example, I will be doing the Overgrown City dungeon. Again, make sure to take the task. Once you kill the boss, you can come back here and take your stat point. Now I will be speeding this up and I will see you back again at the boss. Okay, we've arrived at the boss but seems like someone has already killed it so I will be waiting here until the boss responds. And and here is the boss. Clearing it now and I will see you again when I'm done with And that was it. Now after killing the boss you have a limited time to come in, take your chests, giving you a bunch of levels each, in this case about 20 levels from each. Then you can open your, your boxes as a reward, getting some gear, some money, stat stones as well. Pretty good to progress. Now in this next part I would like to recommend to use some beginner hunting spawns that will be good to speed up your leveling. In the level 70s, I'd, re I'd recommend Corrupting Hydras, Heroes and Worms. In level 100 spawns, I would recommend Hell Spawns, Crystal Spiders, Drakens and Dragon Lords. In the level 130 area, I'd recommend Gazelmos, Demons, Behemoths if you like them. And from now on, it really becomes your own personal opinion and preference. These are all good for experience and hunting. 
Enraged War Golems specifically have chests in them with upgrader stones you can use to enhance your gear. The 450 areas most common is Yetis, but also Inflamed Lords have a task for them as well as Yetis. Hellflesh Demons are very common to be killed. Aquatics are very common. Everything in here is really good. Metal Gargoyle also has a task. Really it just comes down to personal preference. The next thing I want to talk about is professions. I mentioned before you could do professions to level up your character and gain some power. Professions also give you stats, but there will be a more in-depth guide about each profession and showing how to do them. So I would not like to go deeper into that, but just if you do have the knowledge or if you watch that video, you can do that as well. Just to let you know, professions will require energy and these are ways to restore your energy. So keep that in mind. Next up is Rifts. You can check on your rifts by typing exclamation mark rift and this will give you the time until the next rift starts. Rifts start every 3 hours and can be accessed through this portal right here. If it is 2.5 to 3 hours showing that means there is a rift going on right now. Rifts are a very good place to earn experience. You can take the tasks as well. I will take the creatures to kill 500 of them. And to I will take the elites to kill for 150. Now I will not take the epics as epics you will need to have level 1000 to access. Now going into the rifts this is probably one of the most common ways to level up. First floor will usually be only creatures. As you can see this is a rift Volcungra, one of 500, a crawler and so on. Killing 500 will reward you with extra experience and a rift charm. Going back through the portal, you get back to the city and you can turn in your tasks once you're done. The rift epics will most commonly be used for team hunts even in very high levels. So consider doing that if you have a team playing with you once you're level above 1000. One last honorable mention will go towards experience boosters. A 10% hunting experience boost can be bought for 10 Arclay tokens from the token exchanger. A 30% experience boost for 1 hour can be bought from the rift trader, right here. A 25 and 50% experience boosters can be earned from opening Arclay crates. And there are some from farming as well. Everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. Stay safe and enjoy Arclight. See you in the next one. Bye bye.